Wicked Witches. I'm going to show you tonight how to read a four direction ring spread. I've shown you before in a previous video what it looks like when it's laid out, but I'm going to actually pull the rings in front of you today and then talk you through how I interpret them and what, like how I use my intuition to do that. So I have my cloth that I keep in my room bag, which I showed in my video before, that's um, one that I made years ago. I made this cloth years ago, I think I was about 15 when I made it, and it has all of the runes written out and their names underneath, and then what they mean, and it's all written in the rune alphabet, but I can read what that means. And then I've just done little symbols next to it so I can sort of see at a glance what they are. Uh, I have them over here as well. So there's the other half of them. And then I created this structure here for laying out the runes. So I put the, one, the question in the middle, the questioner, the overriding kind of answer goes in the middle. And then you would have the physical, like focusing in on the physical, focusing in on the wisdom, communication, focusing in on the emotional and focusing in on the spiritual. And then, yeah, these are just objects. So these are all like, that's the seed. That's um, from my original rune set that I made from the conifer trees that bought my garden. There's some bits of yew tree. This is from Georgia, which is one of my favorite countries in the world. This is um, a stone with angel hair in it um, and a earring of a bird. Um, uh, I can't remember what that is. I think it's aquamarine. Is that aquamarine? But anyway, uh, for me, they represent air. And then here I have um, an Eric the snail, iron wrought Eric the snail, candles, um, a dice that's been made, fired in clay. Uh, they all represent fire. And then water over here, stones that were polished in water, some salt crystals, a goose etched into some clay. And then for here, we've got the little god. Um, he arrived, like just turned up on the floor uh, when I did my initiation ceremony as a witch. And so I've used him as my god representation ever since. And then these are two bags of seeds and some pigs that uh, represent the goddess. So on this spread, there's a space in the middle and that's the for the question. And so um, you would look at what, what's your question for the evening. So say, for example, I'll, I'll do a, a reading for all of us now. So uh, what does the week hold in store? And I'll pull one that's for an overall answer to that question. Okay. So this is um, like, it looks like an N, but it's a square. And it's Uraz, Uraz, like you are, Ur. Um, and it means strength and um, like face your challenges, like face your challenges and be strong. So it's about having strength. So it's telling us to be strong in the next week. And then if I pull a, a room for the north, that will give us some insight into the physical world. And that is uh, Lot's die. Um, it's like a dice cup. And that's, it looks like a cup when you look at it that way around, but it's, it's actually that way around. And that means um, anything is possible like that it, anything is possible but but it's full of potency as well it's a bit like pregnancy it's like things are about to happen some big things are bubbling away and you're about to give birth to something big physically but but also like who knows what you're going to get <laughs> like who knows what's going to happen so that feels quite apt for physical and then for communication and wisdom we have answer which is the room for A, and that means that there's um, communicate, like it, it means a message from the gods. So uh, in terms of communication, it means that there's there's a lot of channeling going on. Um, people are passing on wisdom. There's a lot of, a lot of interesting ideas being shared, uh, which it is, you know, it feels like a really interesting time for, for wisdom that's being shared. So then emotionally in the South, the fire, we have Degas, I might be saying these wrong by the way, I just, um, and this means daylight, and this means that um, there's, a, and I actually pulled this out reversed, 
So I sort of kind of feel whether I feel like it should be reversed or not. Sometimes I do readings with the reverse meaning in it and sometimes I don't. I feel like this one did because the rest all came out the right way around. This means that um, there's the potential for this bright light in your emotional world. You know, it means like everything's out in the sun. But when it's reversed, it just means that some to allow that to happen, to like let that come through. Uh, there's some kind of block with that, ha that happening, but it still means that that's what's trying to happen. So it's like really shining light into all of your emotional spaces, all the way down into your deep, dark places. And all of those things are coming out at the moment because of how we're all being put under loads of pressure. And so obviously, you know, all sorts of difficulties are, are happening and we're having to face our ugly part. So go with that, allow that, don't, don't resist, let the light shine all the way through your your emotional matrix and yeah go to those places and and look at them bring those things out to the light and look at them it's really great room for that and then i have man here for uh the sort of spiritual and that feels great as well because that's we're all connecting you know there's that whole thing if you can't go out go in and collectively as humankind as humanity we're all sitting in this inner world space connecting with each other right now so i mean they all feel like completely apt rooms for each of those directions and that being a reading for what's happening at the moment um so yeah kind of perfect so that's how you would do it so you could see that i'm i'm seeing what the meaning of the runes are and then seeing how they fit into each of the directions and then how that fits into the picture so you are the one that kind of weaves that together and so the more you do it, the more you learn to trust that. So over time, different moons take on meaning for you. So this one over here, which is man, uh, this represents either man as in an individual man. If you were asking a rune, if you were asking them a question about a person, then that would represent a person. But then when you are asking more about a collective situation, like the question that I asked, then that does mean more of like humanity and this rune at the top, uh, which is Lot's Cup, this is, for me, um, very attached to pregnancy. So it's all about potential and possibility. But when I was doing IVF, then that meant a lot about whether I was getting pregnant, whether it was working. And this rune here, which is Answer, which is a message from the gods, for me, I, that's really connected to Odin. Um, because that's the Odin's the god of the runes, but also is a god that I feel particularly connected to. So each rune ends up taking on its own history. The longer you work with them, you get to know them in their own ways and they mean different things to you.